that's the first one I've seen him miss in the three matches for a 19 year old that's great great going and that's where Shane Walsh just missed the target because David Herity got his stick to it back out into the middle again it comes John Milan little hand pass back out here Forrick Mahoney once again nursing it to himself Prendergast takes the shoulder from Michael Fennelly fires it from 65 metres out is it on its way looks good it's over the bar he jumps in the air Seamus Prendergast the 31 year old from Ardmore a fourth point for Waterford and now there's just two between the teams and Jerry it's all been orchestrated by John Milan at centre forward he's drifting away from Brian Hogan uh, going away 30-40 yards away from him and he's now scored a point got fouled for free and created that one as well he's causing havoc there at centre forward at the moment and it's come back from the Kilkenny puck out to Waterford again Prendergast the scorer of that last point sending it across JJ Delaney getting there striking it 50 metres down the field towards Richie Hogan tries to break it down to himself Dara fives instead the cornerback operating at left cornerback wearing number two out to Shane O'Sullivan to Shane Welch once again the quality of ball into Shane Welch has been good so far but this time it's taken back by JJ Delaney a stick of Michael Rice just deflecting it out here as far as Colin Fennelly and Colin Fennelly has under hit this one poorly hit on his near side and put the ball wide but just to go back to the point you were making there about uh, John Milan on the 40 against uh, Brian Hogan. Hogan is tending to stay back, minding the house as per usual, and leaving John Milan to do the running game if he wants to. Absolutely, and the last ball Seamus Prendergast got there, John Milan was free inside, all he did was slip a hand pass into him and he hit another score. So TJ Reid. Milan is doing very well. That's batted out by Declan Prendergast that time. Doing well this time is Brian Hogan who advances, and Milan's after him. But Hogan gets there. That's the third time he's ever scored in the championship. Brian Hogan, second this year. Scored against Dublin as well. This is the most advanced I've ever seen, quite honestly. Well, we put, definitely put the commentator's curse on poor John <laughs> Milan there. He's, he's trying to get back down the field. There's nothing as demoralising for a forward in the back to go up the field and score. One four to four points. Point apiece so far between John Milan and Brian Hogan. Tasty duel. Clinton Hennessy pocking it out to right half forward. Michael Fennelly went back there, but it's gathered by Stephen Malumphy, the Waterford captain. Into the middle it comes here. Seamus Prendergast. John Milan trying to get away there from TJ Reid. Challenge was high. Milan is fired up. So are Waterford and their fans. Brilliant atmosphere at Croke Park. There is just a great, great atmosphere, great battle so far. And um, you know, great performances on both sides. Tommy Walsh absolutely flying it since the start of the game. John Milan, um, I think they kind of dominate them probably fairly much in the middle of the field through TJ Reid and Michael Fennelly. But Waterford beginning to settle into the game um, right across their half back line now as well. So great, great atmosphere and a great battle. This free is slightly shorter for Porik Mahoney. Slightly right of centre, looking for his second of the afternoon. He's got another. So two points for Porik Mahoney. And now it's 1-4 to 5 points, 7 points to 5, Kilkenny still the leaders. What about the breeze this afternoon, Michael? It swirls a little bit, hard to predict from time to time just yeah. who it's favouring. Well, I thought it was with Kilkenny at the start, but it seems to have changed now and seems to be favouring Waterford. And the referee again goes in, sees a foul, they're playing away, but the referee had uh, signalled that it's going to be a free into Kilkenny. Let's have a look at what happened here. Tony Brown was wrestling Henry Shefflin there. The referee wasn't too far away from it. And Henry is going to take the free himself. One pointed free already in the match. For more or less the same position as, uh, well, no, maybe slightly further out than the one he had earlier on. Yeah, I think that last free, Ger, was his 300th point from Clay Spalls uh, in his career. Uh, he's obviously scored more than that, bringing his uh, play total as well, but 300 points from Clay Spalls. Some target, isn't it? Some tally. So looking for his second of the afternoon here. And this one is straight and over. So two points for Henry Shefflin, one five to five points. Henry playing today in his 55th championship match, as we mentioned already here. The puck out this time is towards Kevin Moore, and he's caught in well. Did well to get it there against uh, TJ Reid slips it forward now here to Malumphy. Trying to take off against Jackie Turrell and the referee didn't allow an advantage. Saw an elbow raised. Free to Waterford. Might have been an advantage. It all depends whether the free is scored or not. You know, sometimes it's nice to get the free. 
Just watch Tommy Walsh coming in there. You know, a lot of time that wouldn't be pulled either, you know. That was a great catch. Super yeah, work in the air by Moran. He's having a fantastic year. A uh, little bit subdued since the start of this game, but coming into it now in the last few minutes. So Forik Mahoney, like a good golfer almost, comes back, views the target, visualises the shot, the angle he's got to play. Bree's now behind him, I think. And he's hit it askew, well off the target. It's like one well of my golf shots. So remains 1-5 to 5 points, and he knows they've got to take every solitary chance presented to themselves this afternoon. David Herity, the 28-year-old school teacher, fucking this one out. There's a boot loss there, it's Michael Fennell who's lost the boot. Holding possession over is Seamus Prendergast. Gets physical, very physical, and Noel Connor is down injured. Near neighbours, no great love lost in terms of the hurling. Intensity of the occasion. Stray blow there to Noel Connors and the referee nipped in immediately. Yeah. I think it was uh, Richie Hogan. Yeah, very painful, I'd say. He's... Richie Hogan, just a bit of a stray hurl. I don't think there's any great intent, but that's no good to Noel Connors now. Kilkenny, of course, hoping... Uh, to reach the final for the sixth successive year. Waterford uh, last won a semi-final when it was back in Olympic year. Who can forget it, 2008. Had a great win against Tipperary here that afternoon. So Noel Connors, the 21-year-old from Passage, playing today in his 13th championship match. Getting the running repairs from Peter Kerwin, the physio. Let's hope he's not singing soprano after that, Michael. It's a free to Tony Brown. Midway between his 45 and 65 metre line. Well gathered. Tommy Welch inevitably. Brick Walsh rises for it. Tony Brown comes across again. Little hand pass slipped over here towards Dara Fives. Kevin Moran. One against two, Shane Welch coming across here. Noel Hickey there as well, trying to close down the space for him, limit his options, still managed to get it in there towards Milan. This way, that little block on it, Herity gets there. Henry Shefflin breaks it to himself. Lovely poise, advancing with purpose here, checking. Dishing it off here to Michael Fennelly. Great score. Second point of the match for Michael Fennelly, the midfielder. What a year he's having. Henry Shefflin, though, very, very much involved. Huge influence in this score. Checking, showing great awareness, and then there was good follow-up support there from Michael Fennelly. Yeah, that's a feature of Henry Shefflin over here, bringing the ball down to himself. But, you know, maybe the pace of yesterday or not there is to turn back, use his experience and throw it out to Michael Fennelly for a lovely score. And Henry once again, this time shouldering uh, Michael Brick Walsh. In came Noel Connors. Helped out here by Michael Brick Walsh. Again, good hustling and carrying there on the part of the Kilkenny forwards. And it eventually breaks down that uh, attempt to get the ball out of play. Falls to TJ Reid, has the go himself, but he's hit it poorly. It's uh, five wides now by Kilkenny, still leading the match by 1-6 to five points. Four between them. Yeah, surprised with some of their option taken, Jared. A little bit anxious, I think, maybe lads, you know, trying to get on the scoreboard, but definitely TJ Reid had a better option there. We saw Connell Fennelly a few minutes ago, you know, loose men inside and hit a bad wide as well, so not, not the sort of composure you'd normally expect from Kilkenny, but obviously under pressure too, it's another in semi-final, and everyone had them raging hot favourites in Waterford, putting up a great show. Is a problem, of course. Kilkenny should be used to it, they're huge, usually raging hot favourites. Henry Shefflin again, dropping it in towards Colin Fennelly. Broke down there as far as Larkin and Owen Larkin. Swift as you like, clinical as ever, over the bar. First point of the match for him. What a brilliant catch by JJ Delaney set up. That, you know, we've seen it over the years. A, a, a kind of underrated player, you know, even though he's won so much, but an absolutely fantastic wing back. Great catch, little ball out to Henry and diagonal ball then down to the forward and a great score to finish. So 1-7 to five points, Kilkenny in front. Where's the uh, Waterford response now to this? Again, Colin Fennelly. 
stopped in his tracks. Referee saw a drag down, it's got to be a free out to Waterford as Michael Brick Walsh picks himself off the ground. Free is taken quickly there by Owen Kelly, who's gone way, way back. That's gathered in by Paul Murphy. Playing well, encouraged by Tommy Welch to go forward with it, driving it in towards Owen Larkin, getting out there, getting first run against Liam Lawler, making space for himself, linking up here with DJ Reid from 50 metres out. That's better, that's over the bar. Four of the six forwards for Kilkenny have now scored, including their two midfielders. Yeah, that's a brilliant score again, just after being critical of TJ Reid, maybe his last shot. But Owen Kelly took that free jerk from back there, hit it straight up to where he should be himself, and that's where the score came from. You know, you have to you know, show more uh, more intelligence than that on the field. There's no point doing that. And he was out on Tommy Walsh for a few minutes, another change. You know, he, Tommy's absolutely dominating the game there. He's hitting an off lot of ball, and they have to get him under control if they're going to have any chance. Problems here once again, this time for. Uh, Michael Brick Walsh, and once again the physio required. Puck out for Waterford, taken by Clinton Hennessy, who made his debut in this fixture back in 2006 against Cork. Brian Hogan now, once again keeping that supply of ball in there into the Waterford half of the field. Line ball to Kilkenny. It's non stop and has been now for the last five, six minutes. Incessant pressure. Richie Hogan ready to take this. Well, he's going to leave it and leave it to TJ Reid instead. Sun comes out at Croke Park. Nice, pleasant afternoon. Been a long championship season already, and it's only Kilkenny's third match, of course. TJ Reid cutting it in, and it's gone away to the right. Colin Fennelly trying to keep it in play. Puck out to Waterford. Still 1-8 to five points, a six-point gap opened up by the Leinster champions. Yeah, that's what Kilkenny do, Jerry. You know, we've seen it so often. Waterford seem to be competing so well with them, and yet Kilkenny just slip away into a six-point lead without sort of you know much noise about it or any fuss. Two against one here. Again, Tommy Welch got a touch on it, got it down towards Michael Rice. This time slipped away from him by Kevin Moran. Comes back out here as far as the raiding Declan Prendergast slipped ahead here to Milan. Milan striking and he scores a goal. Goal for Waterford. John Milan's 15th ever. Coming as it does in the 25th minute. Huge boost. And now it's 1 8 to 1 5. And it was slipped in beautifully by Seamus Prendergast onto John Milan. And the striker found the back of David Herity's net. Yeah, great goal, Jerry. Uh, John just, Milan just moved into the corner a minute ago with a sw for, uh, switch with Owen Kelly. You see the way he shortened the grip there, moved away into space and a great finish. And you know, really, that's what Waterford needed. It brings them right back into the game. It's what the game needed as well. David Herity pucking it out. 1-8 to 1-5, middle of the field. Who'll get most from that now? 